Here are five interesting facts about the Harley Davidson V-Rod muscle. Hi, I'm Brandon Picasso and I ride thick butt motorcycles. If you like thick butt motorcycles, consider subscribing. This is not a kickstand. This is actually called a jiffy stand. This little knob right here adds resistance to the throttle, which gives it throttle lock or cruise control type features. This is not the tank. This actually is the gas tank under the seat. The battery is located in the front of the bike. Here's the battery tender cable. And this 1250cc motor is some of Harley Davidson's best engineering and it has 122 horsepower and 86 pound feet of torque. And another fact is my V-Rod is appreciating in value because they're discontinued. I bought my V-Rod muscle at the end of 2020. Essentially it was a pandemic buy, but it's now the sibling to my 2007 Suzuki N109R. Fact number one. This is not the gas tank. This is simply the air box. Harley Davidson put the gas or the fuel tank under the seat. Why would a motor manufacturer do that versus just putting it in front like everybody else? Well, it allows the bike to have better handling. It gives it a lower center of gravity, which allows it to perform like a bike that doesn't have 670 pounds. So it's not the lightest bike, but it definitely handles better than it looks. Fact number two. Now, obviously with the gas being under the seat, you gotta put the battery somewhere. You don't wanna put a battery next to dinosaur juice because that equals boom, right? So they put the battery in front of the bike. And again, it adds to the overall feel of the bike and gives it better handling. Fact number three, now being that the V-Rod doesn't have an electronic throttle, you can't get electronic cruise control, at least from Harley Davidson. My M109R is the exact same. I don't have electronic cruise control or an electronic throttle, which means that I have to use something like that thumb screw to get the same effect. But all I have is a throttle lock. Think of this little knob as the poor man's cruise control. Now to activate this knob, you simply turn it in the direction to add resistance and you simply close the throttle and now it's locked. And to release the resistance, you turn it the opposite way and that releases it. So yeah, poor man's cruise control. And if you like what you're seeing so far, consider hitting that subscribe button and hitting that thumbs up button. You know, help me keep some of these YouTube bills paid. Number four. This motor has 122 horsepower and 86 pounds of torque with a weight of 670 pounds. And with the weight advantage of almost 100 pounds over my Suzuki N109R, it kind of balances that lack of torque out compared to 118 pounds of torque on the 109. But if you know, that 109 fit. The V-Ross Revolution motor is based off of Harley Davidson's VR1000 Superbike. It has a 60 degree crank and they basically called out to Porsche and said, hey yo, we need help. Help us. And Porsche took the VR1000's motor, rebuilt it from ground up, and here we are with the Revolution. Yeah, it's beautiful. If you have not ridden a V-Rod, it is easily one of Harley Davidson's best motorcycles they've ever made, even if it is the bastard stepchild of the Harley Davidson lineup and lineage, but I guess we can say that the Sports to S is that now. Fact number five. Remember when I said that that's gas under the seat and not in front of the bike, that's the airbox? Well, recently I changed the oil on the V-Rod and I showed over on Instagram how annoying, annoying that time was. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, hey, yo, you're missing out, you should do that. But what's even crazier is that this is a 1250cc motor with five quarts of oil in it. And my M109R is an 1800cc bike and I'm only putting roughly 3.8 quarts in there. So this thing's got a lot of dinosaur juice in it. So I don't know if it's burning oil or not, but that's yeah, crazy. But what's even more interesting is that under the seat, there is a label that tells you to check the oil every time you fill up the bike. What? Now, I'm not gonna do that every single time. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you that I did that every single time. I don't have a warranty on the bike, but either way it goes, yo, that's crazy. Another interesting fact is I have a Patreon, and if you wanna support your boy, check it out, cause you know, I gotta keep these bills paid. Fact number six. But like I said before, this is called a jiffy stand. It is not a kickstand. The only jiffy I know is cornbread. The reason being, Harley Davidson patented the jiffy stand years ago, and this is their way of making sure that the motorcycle doesn't fall over. I don't like it because it allows the kickstand to have play going forward and backwards, and it freaks me out because I think the motorcycle is going to fall over. But there are people that swear by this, and Harley Davidson is still using it, so obviously, jiffy works. And the last interesting fact about my V-Rod is that it's actually appreciating in value. The reason being, Harley Davidson discontinued the V-Rod in 2017, most likely to make way for the Revolution Max platform, which succeeds this motor. And that's where Pan American and Sports the S comes in. And also, more than likely, because it has five quarts of dinosaur juice in it and it's probably burning it more than it should. But I paid just under $10,000 for my V-Rod muscle with 4,500 miles on it. I had it shipped across the country, and here it is today. It makes nice crackling noises and it's a joy to ride and if you want to check it out yourself you can go look at the prices there's not necessarily a lack of v-rods on the market but v-rod culture is just 
insane and they're in high demand. And those are several interesting facts about my V-Rod Muscle. If you have another motorcycle that has interesting facts, drop your comment down below. But if you have not subscribed already, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Definitely hit the like button if you enjoyed this content. But if you are subscribed, I will see you in the next one. Peace.